All right, we're gonna walk through an adjustment here on the Grillo inverted or active clutch system. This is the new Grillo G110 tractor. And uh, although most customers aren't gonna to have to deal with this for a while, the fact is eventually the clutch cable will slip or the clutch lining will wear and your cable will essentially lose tension and you'll have to tighten it. So here's how you do it. Right down here on the tractor, this is where the clutch cable comes into the clutch kind of uh, support tower here. When I push down on the handle on the handlebars, you can see what happens. It's basically pulling this clutch lever. When the top of the lever, put down these wrenches, when the top of the lever pulls back this way, the bottom of the lever is moving in this way and it's pushing the clutch plate together to transfer power. So this is driving or mowing or tilling or whatever you're doing, this is the neutral position. So what happens is as the clutch plate slowly wears and as the cable slowly stretches over time, uh, basically you lose tension on the cable so that when you're pushed down all the way, you just don't have as much force on that clutch plate as you did originally and the machine may start to slip. That is, you'll have the drive engaged, you'll be mowing or tilling or whatever, but the machine starts to just slow down. The engine doesn't necessarily slow down, but your implements and wheels start slowing down, which tells you power is not being transferred through the clutch. So it might be time to tighten up your clutch cable a little bit. Tightening the clutch cable is done right here by this bolt. There's two nuts. And what you're going to do to tighten the cable, this bolt has to go this way. Basically, you're going to push this whole assembly back this way, which pushes the sheathing of the cable further away from the anchor point and therefore tightens the cable. So what I would do is I would back this out to give me some room and then just start screwing this nut in this direction. As you can see, as I screw that nut, it's pushing the whole bolt this way which is tightening things up. I'll bring it all the way up to there where I hit this nut and then I'll snug them both down. Now, from experience, I'm gonna say that that's actually too tight because this thing was properly adjusted before I started messing with it. So I'm gonna run this back in about to where it was. And I'm gonna start up the tractor and I'm gonna show you the parameters that I used to adjust this thing. is already down in first gear. I should have had it in neutral when I started it, but I had just been messing with this before we shot the video, so I left it in first. So we're down in first gear, and with this lever on the handlebars all the way up, we have no motion on the tractor. That's good. You don't want it creeping around or trying to engage itself when this thing is not depressed at all. However, you want the cable tight enough so that as soon as you start bringing this down, you start to get motion. See that? So if I was having to bring it down to say here before the tractor started moving, the thing's not tight enough. Uh, it should be known that also there are two other places to adjust the cable. If you run out of throw on this bolt, you can move the cable clamp. You simply loosen this nut, slide the cable through the clamp more and reset it. Typically if you're going to do that, what you do is you'd run this bolt back in all the way first, then move the clamp and then you've got a full bolt of adjustment here again. There's also, at the top end of the cable, there's another adjustment bolt and nut. So you can do some additional adjustment here. So basically you could use up the adjustment both here and at the adjustment bolt on the bottom before you had to mess with the clutch cable clamp.
because the clamp is always a little messy. It makes a kind of a notch in the cable when you tighten it down, so that one's not as pretty. That's it. That concludes this segment.